प्यार क्या है ओके लेट मी आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन विच वॉज द लास्ट ग्रेट रोमांटिक फिल्म दैट यू वॉच वेल If you are also struggling to find the answer, you are not alone. This thought has lingered, especially considering how Bollywood has often been criticized for inserting unnecessary romantic plots into every film, which has led to an era dominated by romantic dramas and comedies. Yet, when we try to recall the last romantic film, we find it challenging to think of any recent examples, apart from a few exceptions like Rocky Rani ki Prem Kahani. Now, this raises the question. Why are true blue romance films becoming scarce today or more importantly how has the depiction of love changed to that extent that it complicates classifying a film as a romantic film Ruk ja dil diwane Films like maine pyar kiya DDLJ Dil to pagal hai and kuch kuch hota hai were and still are hailed as cult romantic films from the 90s These movies popularized phrases like ek ladka ladki kabhi dost nahi hote and pyar dosti hai embedding idealistic views of romance hum ek baar jeete hain ek baar marte hain shaadi bhi ek baar hoti hai aur pyar ek baar hi hota hai although these films remain enjoyable the portrayal of love in these films may seem outdated to a generation with evolving realities the depiction of love that halts time and changes the course of the wind all accompanied by the sound of violence appears far removed from contemporary expectations mohabbat agar chahe to is ek patte ke sahare aapki imarat ki har ek eet ko hila kar rakhte the 2000s were a transformative era for bollywood especially in the realm of romantic comedies where we noticed a surge of films that were focused on non resident indians nris and their unique cultural dilemmas for example we have kal ho na ho that remains a beloved classic that depicts nena's complex relationship in new york with aman and rohit it beautifully tackles the themes of love friendship and loss urging viewers to live life to the fullest now following this was hum tum which offered a delightful romantic comedy that chronicled the evolving relationship between riya and karan across various global cities blending traditional values with modern lifestyles through witty dialogues and animated sequences then we have salam namaste which was set in melbourne australia that broke new ground by addressing contemporary issues like living relationships which featured nick and amber as they navigated independence responsibility and love in a vibrant and modern context and as the decade progressed bollywood continued to explore the nri experience with diverse narratives for example we have neel and nikki which is not a great film but it took a bold approach of modern romance portraying the adventures of neel uday chopra and nikki tanisha mukherjee in canada highlighting the cultural clash faced by the young nris Then the next example is Tara Rampam which offered a story of resilience and family set against a backdrop of New York's racing scene with Rajveer and Radhika overcoming personal and professional challenges. And finally we have Bachna Hai Haseeno which explored the romantic escapades of Raj across Mumbai, Australia and Italy. reflecting on the impact of his relationships and personal growth these films collectively resonated with audiences by portraying the cultural duality modern relationships and identity struggles of nris making them a part of the zeitgeist of the bollywood history in the late 2000s and 2010s we witnessed the last wave of new age movies from this genre including band baja barat lutera tamasha sanam teri kasam and bareilly ki barfi and leela majnu Romantic subplots have become inconsequential no longer driving the narrative but serving as a secondary element to action suspense and social commentary the 2015 film dam laga ke hai sha subverts the traditional romantic tropes by focusing on the emotional and intellectual compatibility between the couple rather than physical attraction sandhya with her confidence and resilience challenges prems insecurities and societal prejudices Her character is a refreshing departure from the stereotypical portrayals of romantic women in Bollywood. She is educated, ambitious and unapologetically herself, embodying a modern feminist approach while navigating the traditional settings of the 90s. Now romantic movies primarily aim to evoke a sense of wholesomeness in the audience. However, modern films have started to appreciate non-romantic love and portrayals of relationships that leave audiences feeling fulfilled even in the absence of romance. For instance, we have Dil Chahta Hai and Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara which are revered as gold standards for depicting male friendships, offering a nuanced exploration and the dynamics within these relationships without the necessity of a romantic undercurrent. 
A memorable moment from Z and MD is when friends confront Kabir about his impending marriage, revealing their concerns in a heart-to-heart -heart scene. This scene beautifully captures the essence of love in its broader sense, including the care and concern that comes from deep friendships. It highlights how friendships have increasingly become central to fulfilling our emotional needs, providing companionship, support, and shared experiences, thereby redefining the traditional concept of love and companionship. Now, in today's world where friendships often meet with the emotional needs traditionally sought in romantic patterns, the question arises, what role does romantic love play? This shift has led to a re-evaluation of how love is defined and its manifestations beyond romantic or sexual relationships. Made in Heaven, the Amazon Prime series exemplifies this trend, showcasing a deep friendship that does not rely on romantic love. Although, given the orientation of current, that would not have been possible, but still. Yet, this remains a deeply significant and fulfilling experience. It underscores a growing realization that emotional support and companionship can come from various sources, not just romantic partners. This evolving understanding of love and relationships may very well shape the future of how we perceive and engage in all forms of companionship. But can anyone recall a Bollywood film where a heterosexual man and a woman share strong friendship without romance coming into play? Well, a scenario where they begin and end as friends with no hint of romantic development such as dramatic moments underscored by violence suggesting a missed romantic opportunity. It's a rare portrayal in our cinema. A few scattered examples of it could be Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara, which is Leila's unexpected bond with Imran and Kabir that becomes so strong that it raises suspicions of an affair despite being purely platonic. Their camaraderie during the trip underscores the theme that friendship can flourish in the most unexpected ways. Similarly, in Ye Jawani Hai Diwani, the film showcases the effortless and joyful friendship between Bunny and Aditi which stands out against the backdrop of romantic entanglements. Their chaotic yet heartful bond becomes a cornerstone of the film's appeal. Even in the recent film La Pata Ladies, we explore diverse friendships, such as Deepak's quiet but understood connection with Jaya. Despite initial deception, Deepak's protective instincts and Jaya's supportive nature showcase how friendship can be source of strength and resilience, especially in challenging times. These films celebrate the nuanced and multifaceted nature of friendships, showing that they can be as significant as romantic relationships in shaping the journey of our characters. Now, there is this film called Kho Gai Hum Kaha, which is streaming on Netflix, which stands out for its representation of contemporary life, diving into the essence of friendships, individual struggles, and the quest for identity and love. The film sidesteps, like completely leaves the conventional romantic plot lines offering a narrative that could have defaulted to a typical love triangle had it been created like 15 years ago. Instead, it presents a storyline that resonates with current social dilemmas, enhancing its relatability. The film's strength lies in its focus on the platonic connection between three friends, penetrating beyond the superficial engagement often depicted in stories centered around social media. By emphasizing authentic interactions and the intricate sometimes chaotic nature of human relationships, this film does very well. Furthermore, it is crucial to differentiate between stories of attraction and those of love, which is a distinction that frequently gets blurred in contemporary cinema. This blurring often leads to a conflated understanding of emotional depths. The scarcity of profound love stories have become a significant focus of discussion. It appears that the concept of love has undergone such transformation and diversification that it now encompasses a myriad of forms. There is a prevailing sentiment among the current generation for the revival of grand love narratives or love stories, yet we must ponder whether such ideas still resonate or have become just like fantasies. Furthermore, we have the notion of grand romantic gestures which no longer suffice. Audiences now seek a depiction of relationships that emphasize pragmatism and compatibility, reflecting a shift towards a more realistic portrayal of love that addresses the complexities and nuances of modern relationships. For example, we have 96 that came out in 2018 which illustrates that for a modern romantic tale to truly resonate with audiences, they often draw elements of nostalgia, implying that stories set in a past era carry more authentic sense of belief in everlasting love. This sentiment is mirrored in Intiaz Ali's Love Ajkal, which came out in 2009, where a deeply romantic narrative unfolds 
through the character played by Rishi Kapoor, harking back to earlier times. Similarly, we have Sita Ramam that came out in 2022, which evokes strong emotions as a period drama romance, which is reminiscent of V Zara that came out in 2004, where Rani's character questions the nature of love, so enduring that it seems divine. And she's pondering about whether such lovers here are mere mortals touched by the divine or deities in human disguise. In the recent years, the South has gifted us with some truly emotional romantic experiences. These films bring a refreshing approach to romantic storytelling that has raised the bar for the entire genre of romantic storytelling. Take Premam for instance, this Malayalam film beautifully chronicles the protagonist's journey through various stages of love, from the innocence of first love to the heartbreak of lost love and finally to the maturity of lasting love. This film realistically portrays the ups and downs of love and it is combined with powerful performances and soulful soundtracks that makes this film unforgettable. Similarly, we have Tholi Prema in Telugu and I'm sorry if I am not pronouncing it correctly, but Tholi Prema offers a heartfelt exploration of first love and its enduring impact. The film stands out for its sincere depiction of the complexities and growth within a relationship, avoiding exaggerated drama in favor of a more grounded and heartfelt approach. And of course, we have Premalu and Love Today, which continued the strength of new age, authentic, corporate and social media world of romantic storytelling. These films delve into modern relationships with a fresh perspective, tackling contemporary issues and the evolving dynamics between couples. They succeed in crafting relatable and emotionally rich narratives that explore the essence of love, growth and understanding between two individuals. And then of course we have the masterpiece Sapta Sagra Dachi Yellow Side A and Side B and what more can be said about these films that hasn't been mentioned already. The acclaim of these two films speak volumes about the exceptional storytelling, the quality of these films, which has cemented its place as a standout in this genre. Now, the major conflicts in older films were about the disapproval of families or some responsibility from either side that was holding back the individual or social pressures. But now, even though this still exists as a reality, the viewers want something else as a major conflict and not the repeated ones. For example, we have Tu Jhuti Mai Makkar that came out in 2023, which is particularly fascinating due to its theme of modern conflicts within romantic relationships. The narrative revolves around a man deeply attached to his family and a woman seeking independence, presenting a compelling conflict which is ripe for exploration. However, the film's resolution appeared somewhat frivolous and it seemed that the film is trying to attempt to create a balance between both the perspectives, but it ultimately failed to commit fully to any of them. This issue reflects a broader trend observed in Bollywood where the portrayal of women and relationship dynamics has evolved but the storytelling perspectives mostly male dominated have not kept pace. This stagnation results in the portrayal of women that can seem vilifying especially when they are depicted as empowered or financially independent. Now unlike Rocky Rani Ki Prem Kahani that came out last year, it managed to avoid this pitfall. Many films struggle with adaptations to the concept of modern women who does not rely on a man for her identity or success. Now let's take a hypothetical scenario where we have a career oriented woman who wishes to relocate maybe to London. The narrative often positions the male counterpart as the hero regardless of the sacrifices or the choices made by the woman. Now this dichotomy highlights a significant imbalance in storytelling where women's ambitions, the female partner's ambitions and independence are overshadowed by traditional male heroics. The crux of the issue lies in the portrayal of relationships and gender roles within Indian cinema. Until there is a fundamental shift towards viewing relationships as partnerships of equal, where both individuals contribute beyond traditional roles, the narratives will continue to fall short. The evolution requires a reimagining of men's roles in stories, moving beyond outdated paradigms and embracing equality and mutual respect. Only then we can hope for a new era of Bollywood romance that reflects contemporary values and realities where love stories flourish not from dependency, but from the strength of partnership and mutual growth. As the contours of love, romance and companionship continue to evolve in our collective consciousness, so too must the stories we tell. Only by embracing this evolution can Bollywood forge a new path forward, one where romantic films not only reflect the complexities of contemporary love, but also celebrate them in diverse glory.